Né? Alright folks. Oh yeah. Alright. This is the first run at public land in Tennessee. And I got an XOP and all my self filming gear on my back. I'm going for a walk. I'm not gonna explore too too far today. My goal is to just find a good spot to throw my stand up and, and hope for the best. See what I see tonight. Be able to move around from there. But I scouted this piece. Not a lot of it, but I scouted some um, earlier in October. I found a cool couple good spots on the map that I marked on my Onyx and I just found a couple more that are in this oak flat that I'm gonna go check out. So that's all I know. It's muzzle odor season, that's why I'm rocking the blaze orange. E3X in my hand. I'm gonna see see about letting another arrow rip. minutes. I've got about an hour.
I got about a third of a water left. The granola I thought I had was just a wrapper. So I'm hungry. I got a, a little spike about to make an appearance. And my number one target buck is roughly a hundred yards from me, pinned on a doe. What would you do? I need somebody at the bottom of the hill to wind bump him. That's a big deer. It's a big old gnarly eight. I'm no score tracker, but he's a 140 plus for an eight pointer. It's a big deer. I could take the easier way out and bring the musket. Believe me, I'm thinking hard. We've been covered up with deer all morning. Before it even got light. Does. Another lone doe. Debbie's following her. Another eight point. Another box. Two little box. on it. She's hot. He's down there with her. And there's two other bucks trying to get on, get in on the action. <sighs> he had me shaking. He had me shaking. It's a doozy. There's always something. There's always something. Yeah. I did the same thing that I did in New York, and I freaking, well, that's Dean's, actually Dean's XLP, and the bracket on the seat of it is not tightened yet. I don't have a means to tighten it. I didn't in New York either. Now, I can't get it in that tree because of it. I was pretty confident in that spot too, but. I'm not going to waste a hunt. I'm going to ease down here. Leave the stand. I'll come back and get it before dark. But I'm going to I'm going to ease down here and just see if I can find a ground perch. So I was down that hill for a little while sitting on that hillside and the wind started whirling a little bit and it kind of started gusting down into down into the valley so I wasn't really doing myself much good being in there and I was looking on Onyx and I saw this flat on the other side of the road that I came in on and I just wanted to come check it out there's a thicket grass tall CRP field in here surrounded by some uh, some cedar bush it's kind of appetizing and there's definitely some oaks up here so I'm gonna walk around up here a little bit and just maybe try and find a spot that I can set up for a minute. Guys up there. Well, I kept, I kept working my way around this woods, looking for sign, looking for the spot to tell me to hunt right here. There's 
two massive, massive scrapes right here. If I had a camera in my bag, I'd be putting it right here. But at this point, I'm kind of just scouting for tomorrow. And I'm trying to figure out where exactly to be. And it may depend on the wind and what direction it's flowing, but we're adding waypoint now. I'm gonna do brown for a tree stand. And I'm gonna hit more. And I'm gonna hit Ladder stand, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna hit ladder stand just for the heck of it. And then I'm gonna go mark this scrape. This scrape's only about 25 yards from this tree. It is thick up here, but I just like this flat. I think the I think traveling during the rut, this is probably the best. The best bet. This spot in general is a whole lot better than the first one that I picked out anyway. So the tree stand mishap was probably a good thing because if I'm gonna spend any time in here, this is where I'd rather be, that's for sure. Hill drops off and it's all thick on the side of the hill, but I can imagine with a west wind or a south wind, the buck's cruising this ridge top. Excuse me, with a west or a south wind, the buck's will cruise in this ridge top, ridge top, checking for does over, over yonder. So I think it'll be a solid spot to sell.